OK, let's get uh, more now on prize fighter. Delighted to say the welterweight champion, Yassine El Machi, joins us here in the studio. Firstly, congratulations. Uh, you, you were the third favourite with the bookies before last night's tournament, but you yes. beat the two men ahead of you. Yes. And you weren't that well either. Explain all to us. Yeah, listen, uh, I've heard that I'm a prize fighter for four weeks time before the fight is going to happen. I start training the first week, then I get ill, the chest infection, the cold. I had it for two weeks. My, my promoter, Steve Goodwin, and my trainer, Don Charles, they were trying to pull me out. And I said to them, no, please. And it's, it's, I was just begging them. They said, no, you're not well. I know you guys you can fight, but we don't want you to go and lose the fight. I said, listen, I'm not losing. Just let me do it. Just let me do it. And then uh, I, I get back on training on Wednesday. Just, I had two sparring partners, so just two, two sessions of sparring, and then I went to the fight, I started losing my ways, and I went there. So apart from, you, you got a little blip on your lip, and yeah. maybe a little yeah. nick on your eye, but apart from that, considering it's not even, what is it, not even 13 hours or so <laughs> since you, you were in the ring, yeah. remarkably well. Okay, so let's talk you through it then, against Ireland's Peter McDonough in the quarter final. Uh, how did you find this? Peter McDonald it was, was easy. I was tra trying to knock him out. I went for it. I went harder for it. But uh, obviously he was tough. I was a little bit weak. I couldn't take him off. He's a tough guy. And he took a lot of punches. Even I hurt him in the body. And he, he get through it. So I couldn't knock him out. You know, there is the, the, the body. You know, I couldn't knock him out. So after that, you moved on to uh, the former world champion. Colin, Colin Lines. Lines, yeah, he's a lovely, Not a nice guy. Not a bad scout to get. We was uh, the week before for a press conference. He was a lovely, nice guy. Uh, we met, we chat. He's a nice guy, and we went there. Uh, I knew that I would beat him. I would beat him clearly, but I was a little bit uh, concerned about my uh, chest infection. I was just hitting him with the clean shots, just picking him up clean shots. He walks. He done more more work on than me. But I was hitting with the, the, the nice, nice shots, everyone can, can tell. <laughs> what were you thinking there when they raised the glove? Yeah, it's, it's, that's it, the, the happiness inside the heart. I can't shoot it in the face, but there is, was my face, you know what I mean? Okay, and to the final, another former world champion, Junior Witter. And you beat him too. Talk us through this one. Oh yeah, Junior Witter, I just went for it. Like, I couldn't. I hit him there. I gave him this uh, right hook. The referee didn't want to count for him. He needed to get like eight counts, but he didn't. But I carried on. He threw himself from the ring. I feel sorry for that. It's not my fault. I hit him some good body shots. He was tough. He could take it. And the fight went to distance. But it, went, it went the distance, as you say. And you, you briefly mentioned about how you, you beat him. But what gave you the edge last night? The edge, just, uh, just, just my heart. To be honest with you, my kids, my wife, and my, my fans. You know what I mean? So I got guys waiting for me. I, I promised the guys in Muscle Walk Gym and uh, London Street Fighters. I'm bringing the cup. I'm bringing the cup to them. Now you're smiling there before they give the. You, you yeah. knew. Yeah, I knew that's it. Yeah, he didn't hit me. He didn't done. He haven't done nothing. He went there just to survive with me, that's it. He knew that he would, fight, he would lose against me. Talk, talk us through the bizarre moment when he went <laughs> out of the ring, when he fell through the ropes. What was going through your mind? How did it happen? And, and what were you feeling? Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't know that he's going to fall off the ring because obviously he just chose the, 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 the gap, just the middle gap, he went through it. And uh, just exactly the same how you see it. Just he chose the gap and... Uh, he fell there. I knew that he's going to come up and he's going to fight again and start. And I was thinking to stop him because if I stopped him, I would be the first person to stop this guy. Mm. Well, obviously it didn't happen. Has that ever happened before that someone's fallen out of the ring? Uh, it happened a lot of time, not with me. No. No, not with me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think of prize fighter? What, what, what next for you? Oh, obviously for, for people like Audley Harrison and stuff, it's, it's, yeah. it's reignited them. They've, they've gone on. Yeah. Are, you, are you hoping for that same sort of thing? Oh yeah, I would love to because yesterday I've heard someone say to me, Steve O'Meara, he want to fight me now. Steve O'Meara, he ducked me so many times. 
I was chasing him like 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 a rabbit you know what I mean a dog chasing a rabbit but I couldn't catch him uh, Frank Warren he put us to fight with each other he pulled out twice he said the hand injury and this I would love if you want the fight to happen I would love him I would love to fight him and he, either anyone want to fight me I'm, I'm happy I'm a person which is I want to fight anybody anytime anywhere it's not like oh I fight this guy this and I, even different weights you know what I mean? Walter weight, light, middle, middle weight, I'll fight anyone. You know what I mean? And uh, you spoke about Junior Witter after the fight and uh, kind of suggested that he should retire. Is that right? Yeah, that's, that? just, that's it. Like Junior Witter, he, he finished, he had his time, he won the WBC, uh, he kept it for, for a while. He should, in, in my point of view, he should just retire from boxing. Just to, he's just going to keep get losing, losing, losing. That's not, that's not. You and have to keep his name. Am I right in thinking you're 14 now, unbeaten in a row? Is that right? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm 22 unbeaten in a row, yeah. But they just wow. robbed me four times. I've been robbed. You know, when you go to fight and uh, you're not the, the, the home fighter. There's, there's just... Uh, I fought against Thomas McDonald. He didn't touch me once in my face. And I lost the fight. I fought against Denton Vassell, which is he's the Commonwealth champion. I dropped him down in the first round. And I beat him, but they give it to him. Well, well done for him. Now he's doing good in boxing. He's going for the good, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, against the other guys as well, I beat them, but they, they give it to them. There's no doubt that you're a great fighter after Thank last night. You're also obviously also a big fight fan. David Hay and Vladimir Klitschko were out at Klitschko's training camp all day again today. Yeah. Just quickly, your thoughts on that fight? Oh, David Hay all day long. David Hay, he will beat Klitschko a million percent. I got to believe in David Hay, he will beat him with no doubt. He's beating him, 100%. And if he's gonna fight his brother, he's gonna be a little bit closer, but there is gonna be 50-50. But against the one who's fighting now, he's a million percent. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to a stoppage between five, six, seven. David Hay will stop Klitschko. OK, you heard it here first. Yassine, thank you very much. Congratulations thank you very again much. on last thank night. You very much.